This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. How you doing? This is Richard Daigle. I want to talk to you about multimeters. Okay, as you can see, this one ranges. It's on the off position. Then you got AC that we, we've set right here. If I wanted to check the AC at the plug or the plug-in or the transformer or the output on the clock, that's where I would use this on AC. But today, I got, oh, I got DC right here too for battery-operated controllers. But what I want to do is put this on the Omega sign that's right here. Yep side down horseshoe and what I want to do is I'm in the field this valve is in the valve box and I go over and touch one side take the wire nut off take the other wire nut off and it shows me 21 ohms okay that means that the solenoid itself has a lot of copper it's like a magnet and with the plunger in it when it gets 24 volts it pulls up the plunger okay the more copper that's wrapped around in this solenoid coil the better ohms reading you have okay so uh, it works out really good 21 to 23 is a really good range um, depending on what type of solenoid the more copper in it the higher it goes so on a standard valve no matter whose is in the field between a 21 to 28 that is a real good reading on an ohms reading and then it goes out to the field from the clock and then tells it boom pull up the plunger so then the plunger pulls up but if we go out in the field and check our clock and the solenoid is not firing, the first thing most people check is the solenoid. You go out, take your two wire nuts off, put one on one side, one on another, check the ohms at the valve. If the valve still has 21, 22 ohms readings, that means the solenoid is good. Then what you can do is work your way back to the clock and check if the clock so all you have to do is take one and put it on the common, the other one on the station, and then hook two wire nuts onto this. If it doesn't have that reading, the same at the valve, then you have a problem in the field with a loose wire nut or a bad connection from a gopher or a dog or somebody chewed up the wires and you have a broken line. So if this showed open when I put it on, then I know there's an open that somebody cut the wire, a gopher chewed the wires, somebody put a stake in it and then there was a problem you know a tree stake any kind of stake and you broke the wire when you were doing construction in the field somewhere someone was doing some stuff but if it's not an open then i go to the valve stick one on one side one on the other side check the ohms on it so that's how you use the multimeter to check your solenoid in the field so that works out really good so this little tool is very handy to have and it doesn't matter what model you have you want to make sure that you've got a good multimeter to test your ac your dc and your ohms reading and the ohms reading is always going to be on most solenoids between 21 to 28 that's a good reading any higher when it starts to get in the 60s and 70s too high so thanks a lot this is richard daigle we'll talk to you soon